Shalom and welcome back to part three of this series of rapture dreams that the Lord has been giving me all this while. Of this series of rapture dreams that the Lord has been giving me. And I will continue sharing with us the revelation the Lord gave me on the 31st of July. This one was on the 31st of July, which was a Wednesday. And I woke up from that revelation at 8 a.m. in the morning. And this revelations like unlike before, remember the first part on June 10, I saw that the heaven was about to open. There was about to be an opening in heaven and the left lane was leading directly to that opening. But on the 31st of July, I saw that door wide open. And I've been listening to the messages of the prophet. He says the door is open. He says he has seen the Messiah coming for the church. That the door in heaven is open. Make sure you enter while the door is still open. I saw the heavens again. As usual. Big skies. Blue skies. Then all of a sudden there was a door. There was an opening. And this time around. I did not just see the opening. But I saw Jesus Christ himself. Oh my goodness. Coming out of heaven. I saw the door in heaven that was open. And I saw Jesus Christ with his arm out. And then I saw people being raptured. It was like in the night. The skies was very bright. I saw the door in heaven that was open. I saw Jesus coming out with a white garment. He came out of the skies, out of that door. And he was in the night. The scene was in the night. Then I saw people being transformed immediately and they were going off. People were being transformed and they were leaving the earth. My goodness, it was an awesome to see. It was a wonderful scene to behold. People were being raptured. Papa, in like the flash of light, they were being taken. And Jesus was putting them and they were entering the door that I saw that was open. People were leaving the earth. People were leaving the earth. People were leaving the earth. At the twinkle of a light, somebody would just take off and the garments were immediately at. Just like a flash of a light, they will be left, and Jesus kept taking them, and they were entering into the door that I saw that was open. The people were entering, the people were entering. And that revelation, I got up halfway, and I saw myself hanging in the air. And I was like, God, why am I halfway? You know, sometimes when the Lord wants to speak to some people, he uses, he puts the prophet in the scene to kind of explain some things. But I've been, when I get up from these dreams, I was very troubled. Why was I halfway? Like the other revelation that the Lord turned me upside down. Why was I halfway? And in that revelation, I was crying. I was saying, Lord, help me. Whatever thing is in my life that's going to make me to stop, that make me not to enter. Holy Spirit, take it away from me. I was crying. I was crying in that dream. I said, Holy Spirit, don't leave me behind. And everything I just was thinking, I said, God, take away everything from me. I will not give you glory. Anything that is in my life, Holy Spirit, take it away, take it away, take it away. But I saw the door open. And as I wake up every day, I'm preparing myself. What is it? I pray every day. I cry every day. What is it in my life? God, that will not make me to be rapturable. But I've seen the door open. Sometimes the Lord may want to reveal something and he will put you to witness that sin. Because that is the message. The message is that there is a door in heaven that is open. And for everyone that seems not to be ready, it's time for you to be prepared. The prophet says, time is over. Time is over. The door in heaven right now is open. The Bible says, as it was, as the days of Norway, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. They were getting married until they knew not when the flood came and Noah entered the act and the door was closed. The Bible says God himself is the one who closed the door. You know, Noah was in his days. The prophet in his times warning the people, prepare the flood is coming. The flood is going to come and people were mocking. Maybe you are listening to me and you are mocking. What is she saying? As in the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. You are listening to the warning. You are hearing the warning. You might not have been taken into the warning, but I am here to tell you that the door is about to shut. Why Noah was preaching to the people, they were the ones that were mocking, were mocking, but Noah kept with faith. He kept building the ark, even though there was no sign of rain, but he knew that God had said that there is going to be a flood. And he kept building the ark. He kept building the ark. And when the flood came, Noah, there were eight people, beloved, eight people that entered the ark with all the animals in tattoos, in pairs, male and female. And only eight human beings on the face of the earth 
were able to make it when the flood came. So it doesn't matter how many billions of people are in the world. If you are not for the Lord, if you are not living a holy life, if you are not doing what is pleasing for the Lord, you will be left behind. Some people say, oh, you mean all these people are going to be left behind? It doesn't matter. If God in the days of Noah could take eight people, then he say he's not a respecter of any man. He's not a respecter of persons. If you are not right with the Lord, you will be left behind. Beloved, it is time for you to begin to set yourself, ask yourself, am I in the Lord? Because when Noah entered the ark, the Bible says, and God shut the door. It is God that shut the door. I saw the heavens open, and while the heaven is open, it is time for you to enter while the door is to open. Because they come a time. In the book of Matthew chapter 25, the Bible says, and when the five virgins went, the foolish ones, after coming to buy the oil, they started knocking, Lord, Lord, open unto us. He says, go ye, for I know ye not. And the door was shut. Beloved, may you not be let to enter. Enter while the door is still open. For I have seen the door in heaven. And the door is open. Make sure you enter. Arrange your life. Make everything in order to enter while the door is still open. That was the revelation the Lord gave me on the 31st of July. And I will continue with this revelation on August 6th. It was still a Tuesday. Remember the Tuesday where we fast and pray. And at this time around, it was 9.50 a.m. in the morning that the Lord gave me this revelation. In this revelation, like usual, you know, I am so amazed when I walk out in the physical. I always walk looking up in the skies because it's such a wonderful scene to behold. Every time that this normal skies you see in the physical, it's God's notebook where he comes to write for as many as have eyes to see and read. So I saw again the skies, the heavens open. And this time around, a big screen again, and it was like a PowerPoint. This revelation, I saw a big screen like PowerPoint. On the left, it was still like a traffic light. You know the lights on the road, the traffic lights, you have three lights. You have, green, you have red, you have green, and you have yellow. Which means, green means continue. Red means stop. And yellow means it, the light is about to change to red. So, prepare to stop. It is a warning sign. Yellow is a warning sign. Green means you can proceed. And red means stop. But in this revelation, the big screen in front of me, on my left of that screen, was a traffic light. But beloved, in this traffic light, there was no green light. There was no yellow light. All the traffic lights were indicating red, red, red. No green, no yellow. No green to proceed. No green to continue messing up the way you used to mess up. No green for warning. Everything was red, red, red. Which means stop. Whatever thing you are doing, it's about to stop doing it because time is over. That is what was on that traffic light. Red, red, red. Time is over. On the right, on the left was still traffic light, and on the left was written the number 12. <laughs> Remember Matthew chapter 25, the midnight hour. He said, and at midnight the bridegroom came. 12 representing the hour of God, the rap, the coming of the Messiah. He says, and at midnight, in Matthew chapter 25, verse 6, he said, and at midnight the cry of the bridegroom was heard. 12 represents the rapture. Midnight hour. That was on the right. And between the right hand side, the, the extreme left and right, in the middle of that PowerPoint I saw in the skies was a rotating wall map. It was a wall map that was rotating. You remember the Bible says he's the creator of the universe. And that white map was rotating, a rotating map. And on that rotating map was still a red light indicating red 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 the world map rotating was in the middle of that screen i saw and on the left was three traffic lights all indicating red 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 and on the right was the number 12. so after the rotating world map between the traffic sign and the number 12 was written these words the alpha and the omega so you have the alpha on this way 
and then you have the wall map rotating in the middle and the omega on the other side which means i am the alpha and the omega i just read to us the book of revelation chapter 1 verse 8 says i am alpha and omega begin the beginning and the end see the lord which is and which was and which is to come the almighty what was the lord saying the alpha and the omega the creator of the universe the whole world was rotating the word the alpha and the omega and then they were written some other scriptures were written it was like finished it was like hebrew but i didn't i could not understand those ones that were written up on the right hand top corner and on the left hand corner below were written some words that I could not get the understanding. But what I got very well, which was so visible and so clear, was the Alpha and the Omega. This was the revelation of August 6th, which was a Tuesday. I woke up from that revelation at 9.50 a.m. And the message in this is that time is over. The door is about to shut. All the three traffic lights were all indicating red, red, red. Red means there is danger. Red means stop. Red means you cannot proceed. So the Lord is speaking to somebody today. Whatever thing you are doing, the midnight hour is about to strike. Stop whatever thing you are doing. Stop it. The Alpha and the Omega, the creator of the universe, is about to send his son. It's about to come. Whatever thing you are doing that is not giving God glory, Danger sign. There is danger. Time is over. The midnight hour is about to strike. There is no time for sin. There is no time to continue messing up in your own life. The Lord is saying that it is time to get ready for takeoff. Preparations for takeoff. The Lord also came and showed me the symbol of an eagle. You know, that is the only that the Bible requires us. That is why, because of that the revelation, I put this book, The Eagle Believer. Why did I buy this book? It was based on that revelation. I put this book, The Eagle Believer. If you study the characteristics of an eagle, that is the only bed that can fly to the highest attitudes. And the Bible tells us that those that wait upon the Lord, their strength shall be renewed. They will mount up with wings as eagle. They will run, they will not faint, and they will stand and they will not get weary. So what is the Lord saying? Still speaking about the rapture, the Lord brought me the image of an eagle that stood before me. And while the eagle was on the floor, the eagle was preparing to take off. The eagle was scratching the ground, preparing, tapping its wind, removing all the, like, the winds were wet, getting ready to take off. And the Lord told me, focus on that eagle because there is a message I want to teach you. And I kept my eyes focused on that image. I saw the eagle was getting ready. The eagle was preparing. The eagle was preparing, scratching the ground, eating whatever the eagle wants to eat. And at the while, when the eagle started flipping its wing, when the eagle took off, the Lord said, follow that eagle and see where that eagle is going. I saw the eagle left the ground. It flew up, right up in the skies until it disappears in the skies. What is the message? That is still another rapture message. Preparations. They showed me the eagle. The eagle started preparing. If you study the eagle, the eagle is a very distinct bird with very peculiar characteristics. The eagle is the only eagle that does not, that has one partner for life. If a male eagle goes for a female eagle, it sticks with that particular female eagle to the rest of his life. It does not mess up. It, the eagle is separated from the other birds. The eagle is the only bird that can fly to the highest altitude. When there are storms, the eagle fly more. What is the Lord saying? He says, those that wait upon the Lord are strange every new. In these last days, you need strength to take off so you can be able to make it a rapture. You need to be like the eagle. Study the characteristics of the eagle very well. Because in these last days, Jesus Christ is coming for the eagle believers. He is not coming for the peacocks. If you are the cat of a, a, a Christian that is a peacock, the peacock is a very proud bird who spent all his time boasting of how beautiful the, 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 the peacock looks like. If you are that kind, the Lord says, I'm not coming for the peacock. If you are a raven, the Lord says, I'm not coming for the raven. If you are a turkey, the Bible says, I'm not coming for the turkey. Neither for the chicken. 
but the Lord is coming for the eagles. That is why the Lord showed me that eagle in that revelation, how the eagle was preparing itself. So as a believer out there, you need to be like the eagle. Be preparing for takeoff. Because takeoff time, I titled that message preparation for takeoff. This is the hour where you are putting everything ready for takeoff. This is the hour where you need to have all you in your lamb. Because the Bible says the wise virgin woke up, the trimmed their lambs, and the foolish one acts of the wise. Ah, can you give us the same? No, we can't give us of your oil. Go ye unto those that buy. That's it. And when the foolish virgins went, I had shared a revelation about this oil. There was a video, there was a video on that. I had shared that one. So this is the hour where you need to be ready with oil in your lamp. And he's talking about the anointing, which is the Holy Spirit. Because the midnight hour, remember in this revelation, I saw the Alpha and the Omega, and I saw this number 12. And I saw everything was indicating red, red, red. The Alpha and the Omega, the whole world map was rotating. The Alpha and the Omega, the creator of the universe, is about to come and take the sins. The sins are about to be raptured. The question is, are you ready? My brother, are you ready? My sister, are you ready? As I'm preaching to you, I am preaching to myself. And it's my utmost desire that the Lord, when he will come back, he will meet us ready. We will be among the wise virgin. There is no time to entertain foolishness. The Bible says, be sober, be vigilant. It says, see therefore that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the times, because the days are evil. We are in the evil days. The Messiah is about to come, and the devil knows his time is short, and he is doing everything. I am telling you the last part of this video that I'm going to take without saying on something that the Lord revealed to me. The devil is so much concerned with those that have been ready, making themselves ready. The devil is targeting those type of people. So you need to be watchful. As a believer, as a child of God, you need to be strong and standing in the faith because the devil is searching such like you. He wants that at the last moment when you've been living a life of holiness, he said at the last moment he wants to distract you. Remember, you don't need to be distracted. This is a time for you to be focused. This is a time for you to prepare your garments for the Messiah is about to come. The Lord is saying, upon every traffic light of heaven, upon the traffic light in heaven, there is no light indicating green, there is no light indicating Every light is yellow, yellow, yellow. Stop what you are doing on it. Anything you are doing that does not give God glory, it's time for you to put an end to it because the Alpha and the Omega, the midnight hour, is about to strike. What is it you are doing that can make you miss the rapture? It's time to keep it aside. It's time to keep away anything that will stop you from entering. This is the very third part, and I'm coming with the last part that the Lord gave me a couple of days ago still talking about the rapture. Be blessed and stay tuned for part four.